All right. Um, we start with Emily. Questions for Billy? Um, yes, yeah, so I, I guess just to get through when you see Talia go down, like what, what immediately goes through your mind? You feel like you need to something. Time to go. Time to go. I mean, I think <clears throat> as, you know, as a backup quarterback, I think that's always in the back of my head, just staying ready for whenever my number's called. Obviously, I hate, you know, the the fashion I went in, obviously, for for a, a teammate of mine to get injured, but that's kind of the locks preaches the, the next man of the mentality. So as soon as I saw him down, you know, I obviously know I was going in for at least one play. Um, and then from there on, you know, you kind of just ease into things, get relaxed, and, and then play from there. What does your preparation look like this week? Obviously, as a backup, you have to prepare as if this is going to happen, but, but what does the week look like as you're getting ready for a game? Um, I mean, I'd say very similar to Talia's. I think very similar to the rest of the team in terms of, you know, how at least the mental aspect that I take on to prepare. I, I've always, you know, coaches, um, previous coaches, these coaches now, brother, everyone, you got to prepare like you're the starter, kind of just stay ready for whenever your opportunity, your number's called. Um, so I think, you know, the preparation, you know, they always talk about just when Monday through Friday, and that's very similar to, you know, every, every other player on our team in terms of the game plan, film, um, everything like that. So. And what do you think was working on those two touchdown drives at the end? Uh, I mean, any, any play that was called pretty much, you know, there was a couple, uh, I don't think I completed the pass. So there's a couple of those that, that I think uh, I, I obviously could have, you know, maneuvered a little bit better, but definitely on the run thing, uh, run fits. I mean, our offensive line was blocking phenomenal. And then they were, they were kind of, you know, the only, only reason I had the runs I had were because were they were, they were keying on, on Rome, Twan, Colby, whoever was the running back into the game at the time. Um, and then, you know, obviously I saw green grass on a couple of those and I was able to, you know, pull it and kind of make something happen out of it. It seemed like the run game really got going in the second half. Um, what do you think was, was different there? I think definitely the at halftime, you know, we got we got a little bit of a reset button. You know, Coach Loss came in there. Coach Eno's kind of gave us a layout of the second half, gave us a game plan. I think we were able to just um, as a team, definitely, but definitely as an offense, you know, reset kind of go back to, you know, our training, go back to the basics of, you know, I told him when we went out there uh, on the four minute drive, right before we scored the touchdown to go up 11, you know, this is like team run every day, you know, fall back to your training, nothing, don't make anything, don't make it bigger than it is. Don't make anything crazy out of it. And just, you know, go, go do what you know how to do. We'll go to the zoom, Charla. Hey there, Billy. Um, I happened to be at your high school last night and I was talking with coach doc and he said that, you are a patient guy and that he knew that when your time would come that you would be able to step in there and do that. What was going through your mind when you went in the game today? Uh, you know, just kind of don't the, the, what I tell myself whenever I've gotten in games this year is don't make it bigger than it is. Um, fall back to your training. That's something, you know, coach, you knows is big on is don't abandon your training. You know, you, you, you work throughout the week, Monday through Friday to prepare for your moment. And you kind of got to fall back to your training when you get it, whether it's, you're playing in the stadium with, with no people or 50,000, whatever it is, you kind of can't, can't make it bigger than it is. Um, so that was kind of just what I was telling myself, you know, all the receivers came up to me all the line and, you know, you're good, Billy, you got this, you know, we got confidence in you, you do this every day in practice, you know, it's nothing different. So that was kind of what I just told myself. And, and obviously as, as the game went on, the longer I was in there, I got more comfortable and, and was able to make some plays. Veron? I wanted to ask, you know, when you got in that huddle for the first play after uh, Talia went out, what was going through your mind? And then what did you say to uh, your teammates in the huddle? Uh, I mean, it was more, it was more of them talking to me, you know, kind of, you know, giving me some confidence saying, let's go Billy time to go. We all got trust in you. All the defensive guys came up. Coach Locks was like, you know, you're, you prepared for this. So just go out and do, and do what you know how to do. Um, and then when, obviously when I got the play call, I gave it to him and I said, let's, you know, let's go to work. It's nothing different. And uh, you know, we were, we were kind of able to get our running game into a groove at the end. So. Mixed emotions for sure. I mean, obviously I think a road win in the big 10 is, is very tough to come upon. Um, so we obviously celebrated that. And, you know, like coach Locke said, we had a lot of uh, penalties, you know, we kind of beat ourselves in a lot of places today. Um, so you obviously always had that in the back of your head. I mean, we'll definitely for the next 8 PM right now for the next 12, 12 hours, you know, kind of enjoy it. And then obviously we got to kind of reset Sunday and it's always, you know, injuries are part of the game of football. They're never, they're never fun, but you kind of, you celebrate a win when you can. And then you, 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 you know, group around the brothers and, and the guys that, that got banged up. So. 
Did you talk to Philly at all since game ended? Yeah, we had a we had a good we had a good long hug in the in the locker room. He was in good spirits. He was celebrating, you know, singing, singing with me, banging on the locker. So it was good. It was a good time in there. Thank you, Billy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.